Hello, Mister. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Mister? How are you, Mister? Good, bad. Hello. ¿Sí me escucha, Mister? Ay, no, ya vi que me sale ahí. Yes, teacher. Unstable. Give me one second. Let me try to change to another one. Give me one second, please. Hello. Now, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, perfect. Hello, good evening. Me cambié de conexión. Maybe this one works. Uh, yes. Uh, hello, Mr. Julio. How are you? I'm fine. Nice, you? nice. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Welcome and ready to start the class. Hello, Miss Diana. Welcome to the class. Let's wait, maybe two minutes for the other ones, okay? Vamos a esperar dos minutos por los demás. So we can start with the class. And thank you for being here on time, okay? Gracias a todos por venir a tiempo. I really appreciate that. Give me one second. So there we have it. Hello, okay. There. Can you see the presentation? Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, let's wait one more minute. Mm -mm -mm. I think it's not so many people it's going to join today. I don't know what happened. Me avisan si no me escuchan bien. Vamos a probar acá, okay? Maybe this one works a little bit better. Okay, so it's been three minutes. So we are going to start, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and good evening one more time. And we are going to continue with English for our program. This is basic module number three. My name, one more time, is Lisette Rosmeni Alvarado Martinez. And today it is Wednesday, November 30th, 2022. The last day of November, right? Great. Awesome. We have almost December. <laughs> and today we are going to continue with unit number two, that is socializing, okay? Socializing, we, we are talking, right? So, yeah. And the uh, specific objective for today is that we are going to practice a little bit of the past, Okay, we're going to talk about that. We're going to learn how to say sentences, how to use questions and that. And also we are going to describe things in the past. Okay, so yeah. The first activity that I have for you, it's the treasure hunt, but we, I have it here, okay? So as you can see here, uh, we can see some verbs and we can also see some subjects, right? Como pueden notar, tenemos algunos verbos y al mismo tiempo tenemos... Um, unos eh, sujetos, ¿verdad? En una, en la sección de eh, al lado el left y izquierdo y en la parte de arriba tenemos los verbos. ¿Y cómo se juega esto? So this one, it will be like this. So first you use, just choose a subject. Primero vamos a elegir un sujeto and then you use, you choose a verb y después eliges un verbo. Entonces sería así y vas a crear una oración. Like for example, I sleep in the night. Entonces sería esto. Miren. Entonces yo lo voy a seleccionar acá. No tiene nada. Algunos de ellos tienen premios, ¿ok? So it would be up to you. Dependería de ustedes, ¿verdad? Si ganan algún, uh, like something over there. Let's start with Mr. Rodrigo. Mr. Rodrigo, which one do you want? Um, my mother. Okay, my mother what? 
And then my you have mother, uh -huh. cook. Cooks. Remember S, right? Yes. Okay. My mother cooks. Awesome. Thank you, mister. Very good. Let's go next one. It would be Mr. Julio. Okay, Mr. Julio. Tell me my one brother. subject. Mm -hmm. My brother. My brother. Uh -huh. My brother what? The verb? Works. Okay, my brother works. Excellent, mister. Thank you. Good job. Let's go. Next one. And I want the help from Miss Karen. Miss Karen, what do you want? Uh, my mom. Ajá, uh -huh, my mom. Ajá, uh -huh, hay que ver, de, ar de arriba, mis. ¿Cuál quieres? Sleep. My brother sleeps. My mom. My mom. Ajá, uh -huh, my mom sleeps. Sí. Oh, nice, Karen. You have fifty dollars. Well, fifty dollars in a ring. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. Let's go next one. Diana, can you practice or no, Diana? No, I think she can't. Uh, let's see. Next one. Let's go, please, Mister Rodrigo. One more time. Which one do you want? Helen and Tom. Okay, Helen and Tom. Uh huh. Drink. Drink, drink or drinks. Mm -hmm. Drinks. Okay, so it would be Helen and Tom drink. Sin ese, porque estamos hablando de day, Mister. Okay, so sería drink. Okay, only okay. drink. Uh huh. So let's see. It's nothing, but good job, mister. Thank you. Let's see next one. Mr. Julio, let's go. I, I get up. I get up. Awesome. Thank you, mister. Oh, nice, mister. You have another ring. Awesome. Let's go. Next one. Help me, please. Mm -mm -mm. It would be Miss... Karen, one more time. Welcome, Rebecca. Welcome, Clelia. Welcome to the class. Karen, tell me, tell me. I'm sorry? Um, I... Uh -huh. No, my brother. My brother? My brother, uh-huh. My brother. Uh -huh. Drink. Okay, my brother drink or drinks? Drink. Hmm. Como estamos hablando de va de no, estamos hablando no, de él, mi sería drinks, ¿ok? Okay. Mm -hmm. Este, como es de tercera persona, sería con S. So, thank you, Miss. Excellent. Uh, okay, let's go next one. It would be, please help me. Mm, let's go, Miss Rebecca. Welcome, Miss. Let me see. Help me here. It would be. Thanks, remember, teacher. Okay, no problem, Miss. Tell me one subject, please, Miss. What? Which one would you like? My brother, I, my mom, Helen, or Tom? Mm. My mom. Okay. Get up. Ah, uh, my mom gets up, right? Because it's up. Yes, very good, Miss. Thank you. Gets up. Oh, no prize. Let's go, Miss Clelia. Which one will you want, Miss? Hello. Hello, Miss. Welcome. ¿Cuál quisieras? Primero debes de elegir un sujeto y después dices un verbo de los de arriba, Miss. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, I. I, aha, uh -huh. y después, what verb? Work. I work, okay, perfect, thank you, Miss. I work, so sería this one. Nice, Miss, you have $100. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, thank you. Let's go next one. It would be Mr. Rodrigo, one more time, Mr. Let's go. What subject would you like to try, Mr.? I cook. 
Oh, excellent. Oh, I'm sorry, mister. Uh, but good bueno. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> mister. Let's go, Mr. Julio. What subject would you want, mister? Would you like, sorry. Mm -hmm. My mom. Okay, my mom. Uh-huh. And then? Drinks. Drinks. Oh, nice, mister. Wow, mister, you have money. You have a ring. <laughs> Excellent. Good job. Let's go. Next one. It would be, please help me in this case, Miss Karen. Which one, Miss Karen? Uh, mm -hmm. I. Uh -huh. I, I drink. Uh -huh. I drink. I that's drink. Yeah, perfect, Karen. Thank you. Oh, so I did nothing, but that's good. Let's go with Miss Rebecca. Miss Rebecca, tell me. Um, um, my brother sleeps. He sleeps, right? Excellent, Miss. Thank you. Oh, nothing. But good job, Miss. Thank you. Let's go with Miss Clelia. Tell me, Miss Clelia. Welcome, David. Welcome, Carlos Argueta. Mm, yeah. Welcome, teacher. Hello. Hello, Hello Adriana. Teacher. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. So. Sí, sí, lo escucho. ¿Me escuchan? Yo sí. Ok, perfect. Si sí, escuchan alguna interrupción, let me know, que okay, me avisan. Pero ahorita sí, creo que estamos bien. Let's go, okay. Miss Clelia. Uh, hello. 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 I'm sorry? Uh, Manuel. Sí, please. Yes, please. Okay. My brother, I, my mom, or Helen, or Tom. And Tom. Okay. Uh, my brother, Cook. Cooks, remember, right? Nice, Miss. You have Hi. money. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent job, Miss. Thank you. Let's go. Next one. We are going to go with Mr. Carlos. Carlos, vas a elegir un sujeto, como ves por acá. Okay, my brother, I, my mom, Carolyn, or Tom. Y después un verbo de los que están arriba. Ya te fijaste. Pero donde están los cuadritos. Por ejemplo, my brother gets up. O oh, aquí están abajo. Aquí. Okay, Mr. Okay. Okay, let's try it. Uh, Helen and Tom mm -hmm. uh, work. Okay, Helen and Tom work, right? Yes. Okay. Excellent, Carlos, thank you. Let's go, Mr. David, let's go. Hello, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, Hello. Helen and Tom cook. Mm -hmm. Cook. Excellent, mister. Thank you. Oh, no points, but good job. Thank you for giving us the answer. Okay, let's go. Next one. It would be... Mm -mm -mm. Next one, next one. Who is missing? Oh, Mr. Rodrigo, one more time. It will be then. Yeah, Mr. Rodrigo. Go, mister. Helen and Tom. Uh-huh. Helen and Tom. Get up. Get up. Excellent. Wow, mister, you have. Thing. Yes. <laughs> you want something. Awesome. Thank you. Let's go now with it would be. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, who was Mr. Julio? Tell me, Mr. Julio. Helen and Tom. Mm -hmm. Sleep. Sleep. Excellent. Nice, Mr. 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 Se ha ganado bastante ahora un margune. He's rich. He's rich for definitely today. <laughs> Let's go next one. Miss Karen. My mom work. works, right? With the S. Work. Works. Excellent, Miss Karen. Thank you. And the last one, but not the least, help me, please. It would be um, Miss Rebecca, the last one. My brother, get up. 
Yes, very good. No points, but very good job with the sentence, Miss. Excellent. And you are rich <laughs> because we practice in full present. Excellent. Thank you, everybody, for practicing with me in that activity. That activity was only for simple present sentences, as you could see, right? Como pudieron ver, pues era un poquito de práctica de las oraciones de simple present, okay? And yeah, okay. Now let's go and continue. Yesterday, as you remember, we were doing these questions with the simple present, right? Estábamos haciendo este, preguntas con el simple present y, bueno, y un poquito de repaso, vea. And in this one, in this activity, it says that you don't have to say yes or no. No tienen que decir yes or no. Tienen que dar otra respuesta. Como por ejemplo, le voy a preguntar a mi Rebeca. Mi Rebeca, do you like pupusas? Uh, yes, I like. No, you cannot say yes. No puede decir yes. Puede, hubiera dicho, I like pupusas. <laughs> sí, porque sí. Yeah, you cannot say. Okay, one more time, one more time. Do you like coffee? Really? Se congela su imagen por momentos. Really? Todos me ven congelado, pero pues sí, no, lo pues sí, no veo que todos estamos good. Ajá. No, no se congela. Pero no, no. Pero sí, pero sí me escuchan. No importa que no me vean. I'm ugly, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if me escuchan, perfect. <laughs> okay, so one more time is, do you like coffee? Uh, I don't like coffee. Yes, excellent. Así, okay. No tiene que decir yes or no. Puedes decir otra oración, pero no puedes decir yes y no. Tienes que decir otra oración, ¿sí? De lo que te pregunten. Okay, everybody? Let's practice, porque el positivo y, la, y las oraciones positivas y negativas, sí recuerdo que sí las saben ustedes, así que esas sí las podemos utilizar. Recuerden, no vayan a decir yes or no, porque you have a penitence, van a tener una penitencia if you, if you say it, ¿ok? Let's start with Mr. Rodrigo. Mr. Rodrigo, do you watch TV? I watch TV. Ok, excellent. Ok, Rodrigo, do a question to Mr. David Emanuel, please. Um, David, do you play basketball? Uh -huh. uh, I play, I play football. Excellent, because... thank you. <laughs> Let's go, David, Emanuel, do a question to Miss Rebecca. Uh, okay. Puede ser con el are you también. Are you married? Are you single? Are you happy? Puede ser el do you or are you. Cualquiera de los dos. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, do you. Do you eh, like sing? Uh, do you like what? Sing. Things. Cantar. Ah, sing. Do you like to sing? Sing. Mm -hmm. I like it. Oh, okay. I like it. Very good, Miss. Okay. Uh, let's see, Miss Rebecca. Do a question to Mr. Carlos Argueta. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you play tennis? Uh -huh. Very good. I like, I like soccer play. I like to, to play soccer, Miss? Yes. Uh, okay, I like to play tennis or soccer. ¿Cuál de los dos? Tennis. Okay, I like to play soccer I, then. Yes. Okay, yeah, awesome. Thank you. Let's see, Mr. Carlos Aqueta, do a question to Mr. Serafín. Mm -hmm. Mr. Serafín, uh -huh. are you do? Are you? Mundial. Are, okay, are you? On, so, on sense, do you, you, you watch? Do you watch do the you Mundial? Watch, the Mundial? Do you watch the Mundial? Ajá, uh -huh, sí. The excellent, the excellent play, the game, the football. What is the, ex okay. which one is the excellent game, mister? Which one is the team? 
De ti. ¿Ah? What is the, the best thing in the Mundial, in the World Cup? What, what is it? Which one is? Portugal, Argentina, Qatar. What is the um, best? The, the best uh, thing is the um, uh -huh. um, Brazil. Oh, okay, nice. Canadinha, Canadinha. Ah, okay, nice, Mister. Thank you for sharing. Let's see, Mister Serafin. Can you do a question to Miss Blanca, please? Blanca. Mm -hmm. Hello. Uh, do you like the dancing ballet? Ballet dancing. Dance, oh, dance no. ballet. Dance ballet. Uh -huh. I don't like dance ballet. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Blanca, <laughs> Blanca do a question to Jenny, please. Jenny? Mm -hmm. uh, do you eat seafood? Uh -huh. Seafood. Jenny? Sí, sí, creo que la escucho. Okay. Do you do you? ¿Cómo fue la pregunta? Do you eat seafood? Do you eat seafood? Uh -huh, seafood. I eat. Right. I eat. Um. I eat chicken. Ah, excellent. Let's go, Miss. Do a question to Mr. Nilton. Welcome, Nilton. Hello, hello. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you play? Football, Nilton. Very good question. Yes, Nilton. No. <laughs> no puede decir yes or no porque es una penitencia. Tienes que decir una oración. Okay. <laughs> una oración. One more time. Do a question, Miss Jennings. No pueden decir. I play. I play uh -huh. football every morning. Exactly. Very good, Mister Nilton. Do a question to David and Manuel, please. Mm -hmm. uh, do you like your new cell phone? Your new cell phone? Uh -huh. Very yeah. good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Do you like what? Uh, I replay, please. New cell phone. New cell phone. Like, do uh, you like your new cell phone? <laughs> Me ¿Tú? quiero la penitencia, pero me estoy pensando. <risa> You're going to have the penitence. Uh -huh. Ay. No, no sé cómo decir, dicho sin decir no, yes. I like a sentence, mister. You have to say a sentence. Tienes que decir una oración para no decir yes or no. Por ejemplo, I like ah. soccer. I like Qatar. I, like... I like the World Cup. I... Uh -huh. I, I like este, tablets. Uh, the, ah, pero es que era ajá, the, the cell phone, right? So it would be, I like uh, the tablet. Uh, yes, very the good. Tablet. No <laughs> tienes penitence, don't worry. That's perfect. Let's go. Okay, da okay. David, can you do a question to Ho Julio, please? Okay. Um, uh, Julio, do you hmm? do you like to eat fish. Aha, uh -huh, perfect. Very good. I like eat, eat chicken. Chicken or fish? Hmm. The chicken. Ah, okay, very good. Julio, do a question to Karen, please. That's the last one. Do a question to Karen. Do you like uh -huh. Eat mm -hmm. dessert. Very good. Repeat. Do you like it? Dessert. Eat? No, dessert, miss. Do you like it? Dessert. Postre. Right, mister? Yes. Okay. Do you like it? Dessert. Mm -hmm. I like, uh -huh. I like it. Tiramisu, flan. 
Plus. Tres leches. Ah. Plan. Okay, very good. Thank you everybody for practicing with me. That was a little bit of practice for questions as you can see. Eso es un poquito de práctica para las preguntas que más o menos estuvimos haciendo el día de ayer. Very good job so far everybody. You can do this, I know. Now let's go with the attendance section. Vamos con la asistencia. Please say present and activate your cameras everybody. Todos por favor activen sus cameras. Recuerden que es muy importante para las attendance, okay? So please say present. Adriana, Gabriela. I think Adriana is a Thank you. Let's go. Ana Marleni. Presente. Thank you. Blanca Luz. Presente. Thank you. Carlos Miguel. I think Carlos Miguel. Y... Adiós, oyente. Ajá, es oyente. Thank you. Carlos Roberto. Presente, chef. Thank you. Christian Alexander. Uh, then we have Clelia. Present. Thank you. David Emanuel. Present. Thank you. Diana Noemi. I think that's so Miss Diana. Or oh, no, okay. Uh, Edwin Roberto. Jenny Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you, Jorge Luis. Jose Dimas. Julio Cesar. Present. Thank you. Karen Estefanía. Present. Thank you. Nilton Alexander. Present. Thank you. Rodrigo Jose. Present teacher. Thank you. Ruth Rebecca. Present teacher. Thank you. Serafín. Present, Miss. Thank you. Maria Jamilet. Carmen Guadalupe. Ana Verónica. Present, Miss. Thank you. Marlene Oneida. Juan Ezequiel. Juan Ezequiel. Present, teacher. Present. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> Very good. Please be ready, everybody. Okay. Let's go ahead and continue. La vamos a continuar. And I don't know if you have any questions so far. I think we are good so far. Creo que vamos bien al momento. And to start, okay, para iniciar, I want you to tell me if you know what is a networking, a networking, uh, what is networking for you? Have you heard of this word? ¿Ya han escuchado networking? ¿Tienen alguna idea de what is that? Networking. Um, any thoughts, any ideas? Networking. Net. I'm going to show you in a few seconds. So here. Networking. And we have it at, at top of here, as you can see. So it says, what is networking? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Any thoughts, any ideas? What is networking, everybody? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts? Alguna idea? Cualquier palabrita que se les ocurra que crean que es networking? Trabajando en línea? Mm, no. It can be online working. Very good, mister. Good idea, sí. Ok, es muy buena idea, Mr. Thank you. Puede ser que trabaje, trabaje en línea, porque net significa redes, vea. Working en línea. Mm, good. Many other ideas? Algo así de negocio. Mm, very good. Business. Una referencia, alguna actividad Business online. económica. Oh, nice. Business online, eh, money, right? Very good. Okay, but networking, it refers to the, the net. It's like a little, how can I tell you, red, okay? Like like the red 
from the spiders, como de la red de las, de las, ¿cómo se llama? De las arañitas, ¿ok? Porque, let's say here, for example, here we are networking. Aquí, por ejemplo, en la clase estamos haciendo networking. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos trabajando juntos, ¿ok? Es un grupo que estamos trabajando para un solo objetivo, from one, with one object. Okay, like for example, in this one, the objective for the networking here is to learn English. Okay, entonces recuerden, networking, recordemos que va a ser cuando trabajamos equip, en equipo y compartimos ideas. Okay, in this one, we are learning English and we are practicing English. Okay, so we are networking. Networking, it can be on site or it can be online, okay? Puede ser en línea el networking o también puede ser presencial, vea, porque recuerden cuando hacemos trabajo en equipo con nuestros compañeros de trabajo, valga la redundancia, y, y acá en este caso, vea, también puede ser virtual en una reunión. Eh, Mr. Julio, do you want to share something? ¿Quieres compartir algo, Mr. Julio? Porque te vi que estabas aquí dando el micrófono. Dígame, dígame. Or no? Oh. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say something. Okay, so here, uh, it says here, are you good at networking events? What do you think? Are you good at that? Do ustedes creen que son buenos en cuando se reúnen at networking with your your coworkers? Are you good? Because I am. I am very good at networking with my 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 other coworkers. And you? Are you good yes, at teacher. Yes, really? Why? Uh, we, we are a new generation. Oh, but, um, with a new generation. No, but why do you like the networking? ¿Por qué les gusta trabajar? O sea, usted, vea, porque usted dice que ha trabajado en networking. Recuerden, networking es cuando se unen uh -huh. varias personas a compartir ideas, ¿ok? Now, but you say yes. Why? Why do you like this one? ¿Por qué te gusta networking? I like the new technology. The new technology. Okay, good. What about the other ones? Do you like networking? ¿Han estado en algún... Uh, algún trabajo así, like networking with your with your coworkers? Yes. No. Yes. Oh, nice. And what do you share? ¿Qué, qué, qué, ¿Qué es lo que hacen esos networkings? Ideas, aparte de ideas, what else do you do? You speak about the life, right? Maybe you speak about the events in the company, right? and many more things, right? Now, here in this, we are going to read a conversation in the past, as you can see, and they are doing networking work, <laughs> definitely. And I want two of you to help me to read. I want to listen to Juan Ezequiel. I never heard you speaking, Mr. English. I want to listen Juan Ezequiel and also help me, please, Claudia. Claudia and Juan Ezequiel. Juan Ezequiel, you are Luis, and Claudia, you are Janet, okay? Okay. Okay, one, two, three, start. Did you enjoy the seminar? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I did. I learned, learned. Uh -huh. uh, a lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. Tell my mom. Eh, sigo yo, ¿verdad? Yes. Um, I updated. Uh, they. Mm -hmm. uh, my network. network. Mm -hmm. uh, es, uh, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Skills. 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 Mm -hmm. I learn mm -hmm. to move, move mm -hmm. from a small to a small self. Excellent. Great. So, Great. did you make a new contact? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. A, 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 no sé cómo exchange, es. exchange. Exchange. Mm -hmm. uh, business, sería. Business, yeah. Yes, cars. What? With? Uh, with uh, 10 people. Mm -hmm. Awesome. 
Awesome. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Claudia. Okay. Thank you, Juan Ezequiel. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, we have to practice, right? Now, here, as you can see, they were talking about the networking skills. Uh, what do they do? Estaban hablando ahí en esa conversación acerca del networking, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es eso? Y eh, que dice que de, pues de una conversación normal se pasan a una conversación eh, smart, right? That is very intelligent, right? And they exchange, okay? And now information, right? In the conversation. Now, here we have a pair work, but we are going to do it together, okay? So here we have a little, well, we have four questions here, okay? That we are going to do. The first one, it says, did Luis go to the seminar? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, right, he, he did. Did Janet update her networking skills? Yes, she did or no, she didn't. What do you think? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Okay, yes, she did. Number three, did Janet learn to go from a small talk to a smart talk? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, she did, right? Because she was talking, she said in the conversation now, did Luis exchange business card with 10 people? It was Luis? No, he didn't. No, it was, it, it, it was Janet, right? Yes. Exactly, no, so no, he didn't. Awesome, thank you. So yes, right, that, those three, four questions were about the simple past, as you can see, right? And, and today we are going to learn a little bit about that. But as you can see for the, for the answers in this case, they use yes and they use the subject, right? Después utilizan el sujeto, eh, she or he or did, and depends, right? For example, yes, I did, or no, I didn't, right? Eso es básicamente lo que se utiliza for the, for the answers, right, for the simple past. But before we continue with that, I'm gonna show you a little bit about the past, right? Pero antes de que continuemos más con las preguntas, les voy a mostrar un poco acerca del simple past and what happens with that and when do we use it y cuando lo utilizamos y para qué lo utilizamos. So simple past. Simple past, we are going, we have two types of verbs, okay? And simple past, we are going to use it to talk about situations in the past, finished situations in the past, okay? Remember that. Recuerden que el pasado simple lo vamos a utilizar para hablar sobre situaciones que han finalizado en el pasado. Hay dos tipos de verbos que son los regular verbs y los irregular verbs, okay? Este, los regular verbs, ya van a ver cómo se forman y también ya les voy a mostrar cómo se forman los irregular verbs, ¿ok? And uh, recuerden, el simple past es una, para hablar del pasado obviamente, pero eh, también recordemos que es una acción que ya no continúa en el presente porque ya vamos a ver otro tipo de tiempo que sí eh, empieza el pasado y continúa en el presente. But this one is, is no. Finish and in, in finish and everything close in past. Now, simple past, as I told you, has regular verbs and irregular verbs. The first rule for regular verbs, la primera regla para los verbos regulares en el pasado, es la siguiente. So, first of all, it says here, can you help me to read, please? Everybody's going to read today. Ana Marleni, can you help me to read the rule? Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, to make? To make the past tense with must regular verbs. Mm -hmm. Add a D, mm -hmm. E D. Mm -hmm. Watch, watch it. Exactly, thank you, Ana Marleni. Sí, miren, a la mayoría de los verbos le vamos a agregar ED. Por ejemplo, tenemos wash. Wash es el presente, en el pasado sería washed. Ok, no vamos a pronunciarlo como con ED, sino que sería solo como una T. Washed, ok washed. Y le voy a mostrar varios verbos y ustedes me van a ir diciendo cuál es el pasado, ¿ok? Porque todo solo le damos, en esto que le voy a mostrar solo es de agregarle ed. Everybody, what is the password wash one more time? 
Vamos a ver, next one. What is the part for play? No vamos a decir player. Played. Listen, Played. listen carefully. Uh -huh. Very good. Excellent. Everybody. Talk. 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 Uh -huh. Very good. Excellent, everybody. Love it. Start. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Cook. 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 Excellent. Cooked. Walk. Walk. Yay. Walked. 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 Everybody Walked. repeat. Walked. 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 No lleva la ED. O sea, se mira ahí la ED, pero no lo vamos a pronunciar, ¿ok? Solo el momento de escribir es que se va a notar que es así, vea, con la ED, pero el momento de decirlo sería walked. ¿Ok? Learn. Learn. Learned. Learned. Excellent. Very good, everybody. Wash. 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 Washed. Very good. Wash. Okay, second rule. Vamos con la siguiente rule. Help me to read, please, Mr. Carlos Argueta. Thank you. <laughs> Here, regular Mr. verb. Rule uh -huh. two. Mm -hmm. Is a regular verb. Hence, E. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. Add. Add. G. Sí, exactly. ¿Y el ejemplo? Like. Uh -huh. Likes. Excellent, Mr. Yeah. Si el verbo termina en E, solo le agregamos la D. Entonces, por ejemplo, aquí, like, liked. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver los siguientes ejemplos. Everybody, remember, help me. So, this one, likes, right? This one, close. Oops, close. Closed. Mm -hmm. Super simple. Smile. 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 Mm -hmm. Race. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good, everybody. Baked. 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 Okay. Baked. Ajá. La mayoría solo es cosas así. Baked. Okay. La mayoría. Third rule. Help me to read, please, Mr. Rodrigo. One, two, three, go. Um, if a regular verb ends in a consonant in Y, in y take uh -huh. off the Y and add I E D. I A D. Excellent, Mr. Example, uh -huh. cry, cry it. Exactly, Mr. Thank you. Sí, miren, cuando termina en la eh, consonante Y más otra consonante, ok. Vamos a cambiar esa, esa Y por una I, E, D, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, tenemos cry, cried, ¿ok? Recuerden, la Y y una consonante cambia, ¿ok? Pero si tenemos otra vocal, no, ¿ok? O mean, si tenemos una vocal a la par de la Y, no. Ya van a ver por qué. So, por ejemplo, cry sería cried. Fry. Right. Mm -hmm. Fried. Fried. Very good. Try. Try it. Try it. Exactly. Very good. Carry. 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 Oh, yeah. Carry. It. Carry it. Excellent. Let's see. Next one. Study. Study. Mm -hmm. Study. Worry. Worries. Worry. 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 Worried, excellent. And okay, let's see rule number four. Help me to read rule number four, please, Mr. Serafin. Regular verbs rule four mm -hmm. is a regular verb and in a single vowels in a single consonant, double the consonant and I stop, stop it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Miren, en esta regla, cuando termina en consonante, vocal, consonante, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a, el, a duplicar, 
la última consonante. La consonante. Ajá. En este caso la P, ¿verdad? Y le agregamos ED. ¿Ok? Entonces, por ejemplo, stop sería stopped. Vamos a ver más ejemplos, ¿ok? Everybody help me. Stop, stopped. Esta sería plan. Plan. Plans. Planned. Exactly. Planned. ¿Por qué? Porque mire, aquí en ese caso, como tenemos, miren, consonante vocal, consonante, entonces duplico la última consonante, en ese caso era la N, I, E, D. Look. Ok, let's see another one. Hop. 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 Exactly. Very good. Clap. 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 Mm. Clap. Ok, ah, no, very good everybody, you did an awesome job so far with regular verbs. How do we create sentences? ¿Cómo vamos a crear oraciones en este caso? Y miren, so, super easy, muy fácil de crear una oración en pasado, pues solo tenemos, un, tenemos que elegir un sujeto de lo que estemos hablando, ¿verdad? de lo que queramos hablar también, y después utilizamos el verbo, ya sea con una ED, depende del verbo ¿verdad? que ustedes desean utilizar, entonces aquí tenemos por ejemplo el verbo work, y lo tengo conjugado con todos los sujetos, y miren, no cambia, no, no se le agrega S, no se le nada, solo el, el verbo que ED, Okay, porque es en pasado. Can you help me to read the conjugation, please, Miss Blanca Delgado? Help me to read. Perdón, ¿cómo? Can you help me to read? To read. Yes. Read. Read. Read, read. read this, Miss, please. Um, okay, I work. Aha. Uh -huh. You work. Um, uh -huh. He work. Uh -huh. um, she work. He uh -huh. work. Uh -huh. We. We work. You work. They work. Excellent, Miss. Miren, <coughs> como pueden notar, pues ahí pues, les digo el sujeto y el verbo en um, past, en simple past. For example, if I say they. Jugaron. Do you remember how to say jugaron? No sé si aparecía esa. Ah, y ese es el que les quería de comentar. Jugar sería play. ¿Y qué sucede con ese verbo? Lleva una Y, una vocal A y una L. Entonces. Hmm. Se le agrega ED. Exactly. They play. It's exception. Exactly. It's an exception. Very good. What about we, we, um, let's see. Oh my goodness, I forgot the verbs right now. <laughs> eh, clap. Mm -hmm. So sería? Teacher. Uh -huh. Se duplica la P. Yeah. And? Y luego, y, y. Exactly. We clap, right? Clap, aplaudir. Yes, mister. Escuché alguien que dijo, teacher. Yes, tell me. Teacher, I, I, I have a question. Tell me, mister. Eh... I hear you. En la, en, en la pizarra usted tiene eh, work, tiene one, two, three, uh -huh. y one, two, three es primera y segunda, per, tercera, tercera todas las personas. Y primera y segunda, tercera de, de plural. Uh -huh. Yes, mister, ahí tengo ah, okay. todas, si se fija. Las primeras dos son primera persona, uh -huh. eh, la, la número tres es tercera persona, y la uno, dos, tres que está we, you y they es, es tercera persona, ¿verdad? Sí, de plural. Ya, yeah, plural, exactly. Tercera, o sea, no okay. te incluyes. Bueno, Thank sí you. te incluyes algunas. Ajá, very good, mister. We clapped. Ok, ahora vamos a ver. They, no, they, no. She, she, hmm. study. ¿Cómo sería el pasado de study, everybody? Study. Exactly, she study English. Miren, ya habían estudiado el simple pass, everybody. Just a question, or no. It's the first time. Or the first time First question. First day. First time. Oh, ya lo habían estudiado. Well, anyway, start learning again. Se lo van a aprender una vez más. So, questions right now for the regular verbs. Preguntas ahorita con los regular verbs. Or no, we are good. O estamos bien. Recuerden. La primera regla solo se les agrega a la mayoría de los verbos ED. Segunda regla es que cuando termina en Y, 
el verbo, bueno, primero va así, ed. Cuando termina en y, el verbo, cambiamos esta y por i, ed. Next one, cuando tenemos una consonante, vocal consonante, eh, por ejemplo, let's see, oh my god, stop, stop, pues duplicamos la última consonante, en this case it will be p, stop, y le agregamos ed. Y, pues, ¿cuál era la otra? Just all right. Just, ah, when we have an E, cuando el verbo termina en E, le agregamos la D. Por ejemplo, like sería liked, right? Esas serían las cuatro reglas para los regular verbs, right? Study and here, cook, sería cooked. Questions? Questions For example, you? teacher, and the verb be? Oh, uh, no. Ahorita vamos con esos. El, los, el verbo be es irregular verbs. ¿Y cómo lo vamos ah, a okay. Ajá, y ustedes me dirán, Miss, ¿y cómo vamos a diferenciar? Se los tienen que aprender los irregular verbs. Ya, yeah. it's not a other way. No hay otra manera. Por eso les decía que se aprendieran la lista que les había mandado en el grupo. Porque <coughs> les iba a servir para esta semana. Ok, because it's very, very important. Ok, so let's see. I want you to tell me one sentence. Some of you, algunos de ustedes, volunteers, tell me one sentence using simple past. For example, I, I, hmm, I worked today. No, pero estaba esa. No, another one. I cooked, I cooked hamburgers today. Ok, I cooked hamburgers. So you, tell me one sentence, please. I sleep yesterday. Ah, no, pero that is a regular. Eso es un irregular. Ahorita vamos con los irregulars. Uh -huh. I walked to my work. Ah, work. excellent. Walks, right? Very good, mister. Walk. Uh -huh. Another volunteer? Volunteer, volunteers or no volunteers? Mm -hmm. Only one more. Le voy a... I fried potatoes. Ah, very good. I fried potatoes. Excellent. En un ratito le voy a mandar una lista de verbos, ¿ok? En regular and irregulars, ¿ok? Now we are going with irregulars. Irregular verbs, ¿ok? These verbs change a lot, ¿ok? Estos verbos cambian mucho, ¿ok? Cuando pasan al pasado, ¿ok? O sea, de presente al pasado. And this, uh, in this case, they have, you have to learn them. Se los tienen que aprender. Y ahorita vamos a repasar algunos, okay? So, for example, for go. Somebody knows what is the past for go? ¿Quién se recuerda? When. when. Yes. yes. No, it's went, okay? Everybody repeat. Go. Went. 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 Go. Went. 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 See. Oh. So, so, exactly. So, excellent. Come. Came. Came, excellent. Read. Red. Read. Red. Red, como el color. Sí, sí se describe igual como pueden notar, pero eh, se, se dice como el color, ¿ok? Red, ¿ok? Repeat, everybody. Okay. Red. 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 Excellent. Red. Very good. Right. What is the password right? Road. 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 Very good. Wrote. Everybody repeat. Wrote. 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 Excellent. Road. Meet. 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 No. Met. 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 Eight. No, eight. Eight. Uh -huh. Very good. Eight. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next one. Drink. Drunk. Drunk. Exactly. Drunk. Drunk. Con A. El, recuerden que el pasado participio era con U. Drunk. Pero este es drunk. Okay. Let's see. Bye. Both. But, 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 is, ahora sí, el verbo tuviaca, miren, 
was, el, were, ajá, was. was. El de is sería was. Y el de are, el pasado were. de are, ajá, were. sería were. were. Excellent. Very good. Good, good, everybody. Let's see another one. Make. Made. Made. Make. Made. Made. El pasado made. es made. Ajá. Very good. Made. Sleep. El pasado es. Slept. 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 Excellent. Where. Where. Wow. War. Repeat. War. 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 Where. War. Aha. Where. War. Win. Win. One. One. Exactly. Let's see. Cut. Ese es super fácil. Cut. Cut. Es lo mismo. Exactly. Cut. Cut. Aha. Very good. Ok, and how do we for sentences y cómo formamos oraciones? Miren, so, el sujeto y el verbo. Por ejemplo, I spoke y aquí tenemos las diferentes conjugations en todos los sujetos. Y miren, pues no, pues el sujeto no pues, hace cambio en el verbo, sino que el verbo cambia pues, por obvias razones que es en pasado. Help me to read this ones, please. Miss Jenny, Miss Jenny, help me to read this sentences, please. I, I spoke. Uh -huh. ¿Qué significa spot teacher? Spoke es hablar, mis, en pasado. Spoke. Speak, spoke. But can you read it? ¿Lo podrías leer todas las oraciones, please? I spoke. Uh -huh. You spoke. He spoke. She spoke. It spoke. Uh -huh. We spoke, you spoke, they spoke. Excellent. Very good, Miss. Okay. So remember that sentences, ¿cómo creamos las oraciones? Por ejemplo, ah, la Miss dijo ahí, I slept yesterday. Yo dormí ayer, dijo ella. I slept yesterday. Porque recuerden que en este caso, pues debemos de saber el pasado de sleep. Okay. So sería slept. Okay. Por ejemplo, quiero... I I spoke English Ajá. yesterday. Excellent, Miss Jenny. I spoke very good English yesterday. Awesome. Very good. Thank you for trying, Miss. Another sentence that you want to share? No sé si usted. Yes, Mr. David, tell me. Teacher, I, I have a question. I tell have me. a question. Tell me. Uh, but in, in pasado, los verbos para tercera persona ya no llevan la S. No, mister, no. They change. Ellos cambian. Y no importa si es he, she, I, we, they. No, el verbo siempre se va a quedar en pasado. O sea, con la ED o cambiar completamente como los irregulares, mister. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Ajá. So, no, no more S. Ya no más S. Para el pasado, no more S. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver si se acuerdan de los verbos que acaban de ver en the presentation. What is the past for make, everybody? Made. Ah, made area. Uh -huh. Made. 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 Uh -huh. What is the past for is? Was. 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 What is the past for meet? Met. 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 What is the past for read? Row. Red. Row. Red. 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 Yeah, it's red. Red, como el color. Remember, red. Ok. Se escribe ah, igual. Red. Ajá. Se escribe igual como el color, les dije. Como, como el, el mismo verbo, pero se pronuncia diferente, como el color. Let's see next one. What is the pass for C, everybody? C. Sí. Oh. Sí. Go. So. so. What about go? Go. What is the pass? Went. 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 Awesome. Very good. And yeah. Okay. Give me one second. I want to see what I have later. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Let's give it a try. Vamos a hacer un poquito de práctica. And this is the simple pass practice. Okay. Give me one second. 
So here, uh, what do you think it could be the verb? Allí en la imagen pues pueden ver cuál puede ser el verbo. So here will be my father. Went. Went, vamos a ver si es went. Ah, okay. Went. Yes, Mr. Very good. My father went to okay. work on food. Excellent. Thank you. Richard, uh huh. What do you think? Mm -hmm. El pasado de, de ir. Hey. De ir. De go. Go. Sería. Bueno. Went. went. It, you think it's went? Vamos a ver. Ok, no, pero no va aquí. No es went then. No, pero no. Any ideas? What is it? Walked. Yes. Walked. Can you help me to read the sentence, please, Mr. Julio? Richard what? His dog in the afternoon. Excellent, thank you. Let's go next one. Help me please with this one, Mr. Nilton. Uh -huh. I slept. Yes, I slept. very, yeah, we, I'm sorry. No, we died, oh my goodness. Oh no, no, it's not slept. Porque aquí está slept. Was. Was. Yeah. No, it's not was. Uh -uh. Mm. Creo que es caer. Mm -hmm. Caer. It's fall, okay? But in past, it would be fail. Fail asleep, okay? Caer o quedarse dormido se dice fail, uh, well, fall asleep or fell asleep in past, okay? Okay. Let's see this one. Uh, what do you think it's the word, everybody? Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see. Ah, oh, okay, let's see. Yes, awesome. Good job. Study. Can you read the sentence, please, mister? My friend Joy is studying hard for his math test. test. Excellent, mister. Thank you. Very good. Can you help me with this one, please, Marlene? Marlene Guneita? Mm -hmm. Creo que es comprar. What is the pass for comprar? Uh -huh. It's comprar. Oh. Yes. But. Uh -huh. But. Ay, oh my goodness. Wait. Can you read the sentence, please, Blanca? My uncle bought this Christmas gift at the weekend. Excellent, thank you. This one, help me please. Karen Perez, host Juan Ezequiel. Help me, you boys. Clelia, what happened? Ana Marlene, David, yes, help me. You have to try it. Somewhere. Go. When. Go. No, it's not that one. Mm -mm. It's not Arrive. that. Run. Arrive. Arrive. Run. Run. Mm -hmm. No. Estamos muriendo. Out. The finalizar. Finish. Finish class. Vacation. No, it's not finished. Vacation. Yeah. 
Ay, no, 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 but it's not that. Finished. No, it's not finished. Ahí tiene una E o F. It's not that. Mm -hmm. Left. Okay, this is the answer. Okay. Can you help me to read Juan Ezequiel? Okay, Samuel left school I want yesterday. Exactly. Yesterday. Yes, thank you. Okay, so that was for the simple past sentences, okay? Esas son eh, para el simple past. Más adelante ustedes van a, bueno, en el siguiente ni, módulo, eh, van a estudiar un poco más acerca de las oraciones en presente, en, I mean, en pasado, positivas y en negativas. But I'm going to move on to the next topic. Vamos a, a empezar con el tema que era con el simple past today, okay? Que igual este question que eran las preguntas, okay? Por eso hice breve, una breve breve introducción con los verbos, ok? Y mañana se los voy a preguntar, así que please learn them. Ya le voy a volver a mandar la lista que teníamos por ahí, ok? So we can't do it, ok? And what did I do? Wait a second. Um, so simple past questions, ok? Simple past questions, ok? There um, we have here uh, that we can do two types of questions. Give me one second, just, I just want to clarify something. Okay, I, I am now, yes. Mm -hmm. So simple past questions, we have two types, okay? Tenemos dos tipos, but uh, give me one second. Okay. Okay, so here we have the, the interrogative form for a simple past. So what happens is that we use did, okay? Lo que sucede es que utilizamos el did. Y este, ¿se recuerdan que el, el de simple present, cuál es el, el ayudante del simple present? ¿Se acuerdan? ¿Cuál? Do, that. Do or Do. does. Excellent, yeah. very good. Okay, entonces para el pasado sería el did, sí. okay? Ajá, con eso vamos a iniciar nuestras preguntas, okay? Porque este va a ser nuestro helper, nuestro auxiliary, okay? And we have to write it at the beginning, right? Lo tenemos que escribir al principio de nuestra pregunta. Ahora bien, en nuestra pregunta, ahora nuestro verbo no va a cambiar. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos nuestro ayudante, que básicamente nuestro ayudante nos ayuda, así como dice la palabra, a no cambiar nuestro verbo, okay? And so here we have the first question, y ahí tenemos una pregunta, mire. Did he go to, to school yesterday? El fue a la escuela el día de ayer. And we say, I'm sorry. And we can answer y podemos responder. Yes. Y como estamos hablando de él, sería he did o no, he didn't. Que ese es el pasado en negativo. Didn't, ok. Entonces, así es como vamos a contestar. Ok. Uh, here I have some more examples. Aquí tengo otros ejemplos. Ok. Can you help me to read the first ones, please? Miss Ana Verónica, no sé si estás de oyente, Miss. Or no. Okay. Uh, help me please to read Claudia. Las primeras three que tienes por ahí. Please, please, help me, help me. Okay, help me, Miss Clelia. This first three. Did I boom? Did uh -huh. you break, break? Did you stop? Exactly. Thank you. And then we have here the other three. Help me, please, to read the other three. David Emanuel. Did she buy? Did she drink? Mm -hmm. Did we watch? Exactly. Very good. Thank you. Help me with the next ones, please. Uh, Jenny's. Did you study? Mm -hmm. Did they see? 
Excellent, Miss. Thank you. So, as you can see here, como pueden notar, pues para nuestras preguntas en el pasado vamos a utilizar el did, ok, el sujeto y el verbo va a quedar normal. Donde cambia únicamente serían nuestras oraciones en positivo, ok. Y cómo respondemos, por ejemplo, en la número uno sería did I run? Y puedes decir yes, you did o no. ¿Cómo era lo negativo? You Didn't. Didn't. Excellent. Thank you, mister. Did you break? Yes. I did. O oh, en negativo sería no. I, I did. did. Ajá. Le puedo dar todas las respuestas. Did he stop? ¿Cómo sería la respuesta? En positivo, yes. Yes, he did. Ajá. O oh, en negativo sería no. He didn't. He didn't. Awesome. Thank you. Did she buy? Yes, she did. Yes, yes she, she did. did. Oh, no. She, she didn't. She didn't. She didn't. Exactly. Did it drink? Yes. It did. It drink. I mean, it did. It did. Es que no sé qué está diciendo los verbos. No. It. Didn't. Didn't. Awesome. Did we watch? Yes. We did. Yes. No, we, no did. we didn't. Sí, y si se fijan, solo voy cambiando el sujeto, ¿verdad? Con el cual estoy preguntando. Y, um, what else? Y no debemos de utilizar los verbos aún, porque está el otro tipo de pregunta que vamos a estudiar mañana, de hecho. Eh, y es que ya dices oraciones, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es con la WH question? Ahorita, esta se llama yes y no questions. ¿Por qué? Porque solo respondemos con un yes o con un no, ¿ok? Let's see. I'm going to give you some questions. Le voy a hacer algunas preguntas y ahí tienen pues las respuestas. Let's start with Mr. David. One more time, Mr. Did you study English? Yes, I did. Ah, very good, Mr. Thank you. Ana Marlene, did you eat pupusas yesterday? Yes, I did. I, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I, yes, excellent, Miss. Yes, thank you. Let's see. Next one. Uh, it would be Blanca. Did you did you watch TV yesterday? Yes, I did. Excellent, Miss. Let's see. Clelia, did you did you read yesterday? Uh, no, I didn't. Mm, okay, no problem. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Claudia, did you buy on Saturday? Did you buy on Saturday? Did you buy on Saturday? Did you? Hello, Clelia. Okay, let's see. Juan Ezequiel, did you watch Netflix? Yes, I did. Ah, okay. Julio, did you did you run? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. I se me movió. <laughs> Give me one second. Um, Karen. Did you eat breakfast, Karen? Yes. Yes? Yes. How do we answer, everybody? ¿Cómo respondemos, yes. everybody? I? Yes, I did. Excellent. Very good, Miss. Excellent. Very good, you guys. Let's see next one. Nilton, did you work today? Did you work today? Yes, I did. Ah, very good. Rodrigo, did you drink water today? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good so far, you guys. I don't know if you have any questions. No sé si tienen alguna duda o pregunta so far. I was noticing, give me one second. Le puedo explicar la negativa porque ahí acabo de ver que en la, en la guía pues les aparece en el manual. So it's going to be important. So va a ser importante that you uh, know that. And 
Welcome, Mr. I think you're not oyented anymore, Jorge Luis, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, like, you, okay. Hola. Ok, excelente, mister. <ríe> ok, le vamos a quitar. Me, me avisan quién más no está de oyente anymore porque recuerden que practic practicing the class is very important, ok. Recuerden que practicar en la clase es muy importante, ok. So, here, and let's continue with the simple pass and just no question. And here, I already explained you a little bit about the simple past sentences, right? Ya les he explicado un poco acerca de las oraciones en afirmativo, en el pasado. ¿verdad? Que les decía que algunos verbos se les agrega ed, a otros solo se les agrega la d, a otros se les agrega ied. Ya les voy a mandar la lista, I'm sorry, que no se las he mandado, pero pues como les estaba explicando. Ahora, en, en el caso de las negativas, miren lo que sucede. Súper fácil. Lo único que vamos a hacer es que le vamos a agregar nuestro ayudante en negativo, ¿verdad? Que sería didn't, ¿ok? Y el verbo no cambia, ¿ok? Se queda igual. Entonces ahí dice, Luis didn't attend this to the seminar. And then we have the next one. Luis didn't exchange, ¿ok? Didn't exchange, what is this? Business card, ¿ok? So, and that's all that you do. Y eso es todo lo que se hace. Por ejemplo, yo quiero decir, yo no comí o yo no cociné ayer. Entonces, yo voy a decir, I didn't cook. Ok. Or maybe you can say, they didn't. Mm, ¿Qué no hicieron ayer? Piensa que no hicieron ayer. What activity? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Play. Ah, you didn't play Xbox, okay. Or maybe you can say, we, we didn't, ¿qué, no, ¿qué otra cosa no hicieron ayer, everybody? Sleep, awesome. Ah? Sleep. No, ah, estar en no la dormí. clase. No dormí en la clase. Oh, no. my goodness, we didn't sleep, okay. No dormimos, oh my goodness, okay, no problem. In the afternoon, mister, you didn't take the nap? That's sad, mister, sorry. Uh, okay, so those are the sentences. Y miren, super fácil, so el didn't más el verbo, okay? And that's it, okay? Questions, right now for the negatives. No sé si hay alguna pregunta o duda con el pasado y negativo. Teacher, yeah. um, entonces, when the sentence is negative, mm -hmm. eh, not change the verb. No, it doesn't change, Mr. Very good. No, it doesn't have to change. No tiene okay. que cambiar. Uh -huh. Thank you, Mr. Very good idea, though. You have to notice that. Tienen que eh, notar eso, ¿verdad? So, yeah. Y en las afirmativas sí cambia y en las preguntas no cambia. Aquí tenemos unos ejemplos. Can you help me to read, please, Miss... No, Miss Claudia. Miss Claudia, help me, please, with the questions over there that we have in the manual. Hello. Yeah. Thank you. Can you read the questions? The questions here? Okay. Read. Uh -huh. Thank you. Did you enjoy the seminar? Uh -huh. Did you make a new contact? Uh -huh. And? Did Janet mm -hmm. uh, stay up there? Did Janet what? Sorry? Did yes. Janet update? Uh -huh. Update. Update. Yes. Here. Sería, ¿verdad? Network, networking networking skills. Networking skills. Awesome, Miss. Thank you. Yes, así. Now here we have the rules. One more time. Y aquí tenemos otra vez las reglas. Miren, so we have the simple past describe past events. Use the verbs in the. Hmm. Uh huh. What do we do here? In the. ¿Cómo? ¿Cuál es el verbo que utilizamos? Mm -hmm. C. 
simple past, simple. Right? Exactly. Utilizamos, recuerden, para describir, dice, miren, the simple past describes past events. El pasado simple describe eventos en el pasado, ¿verdad? Y debemos de utilizar los verbos en el simple past, o sea, con la ed o con los irregulares, vea, para el oraciones en positivo. Y de ahí dice, for negative sentences use, ¿qué utilizamos para el, el, el negative, para las oraciones en negativos, eh, para el pasado? What do we use? Don't or didn't? Didn't. 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 Excellent. Very good, you guys. And then, and then, after that, y después que utilizamos la, el verbo con ed o la base form of the verb. What do we use? Ed. Yeah. Después del dire, va el ed? No. No. Base form. Exactly, el base form. Base form, yo me refiero al verbo normal, ¿ok? Eso es lo que quiere decir. Please pay attention, ¿ok? It's very important this. Then, to start a yes no question about the past, para empezar una pregunta, dice, acerca del pasado, ¿qué utilizamos? ¿El do o el did? El did. El did. El did. Y después, ¿qué va? Subject o verb? Subject. Subject. El subject. Y después, si ¿sí va el verb. verb. ¿El verb va con id o con simple, like, simple form? Simple form. Exactly. El space form, right? Very good. So, yeah. Questions right now. Questions? Questions? No questions. We're good. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're good. Okay. Now, in order to continue, okay, and to practice a little bit of the questions, because that's the topic for today, okay, como era el tema de las preguntas para el día de ahora. So here we have some questions, right, that we are going to do, okay, vamos a hacer unas preguntitas por acá. And how are you going to do it? ¿Cómo lo van a hacer? Miren acá, solo vamos a intentar con el did you, did you y el verbo que tengan acá en paréntesis. Entonces sería, did you attend to a seminar last month? La número tú sería, did you, ¿qué? Did you enjoy, enjoy. The, enjoy the seminar? Awesome, very good. Number three. Meet new people, exactly. Number four. Did you learn? Learn something. Something. Awesome. Okay. Number five. Do you need your network? Network. network. In, the converse. In the convention. In the convention. Very good. Number six. Did you? Did you, did you, did you exchange business, business cards? Excellent. Okay. Now, what are you going to do now? ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahora? Vamos a, lo voy a poner en pareja, ¿ok? Y ustedes van a hacer estas preguntitas, estas six questions to your classmates, ¿ok? Le van a hacer estas preguntitas a sus compañeros y van a anotar las respuestas. Así, miren, vamos a hacer la práctica con Mr. Mr. Jorge Luis, ya que al principio está, help me now, Mr. Did you attend, do you attend to a seminar last month? Eh, no. No, I didn't, ¿ok? I no. didn't. Ajá. Y en positivo, ¿cómo vamos a contestar? Yes. Yes, I did. Exactly. Did you enjoy the seminar? Ah, pero como no fue. <laughs> no, I no, did. Ajá. I did. Exactly, very good. Did you meet new people? <laughs> <laughs> just imagine, like great, Mister. Just imagine. Okay. Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mister. Did you learn something in the seminar? <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Did you network in the convention? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Okay. Did you exchange business card? Yes, I did. Ok, very good. Entonces, así vamos a hacer a nuestros compañeros, ok. Uh, like questions. Vaya, con el Mr. Pepper, en el caso del Mr. Pepper, me dice, él no hizo seminar last month, pero creo que todos en algún momento 
en algún momento, sorry, de nuestro trabajo hemos hecho un seminar, ok, o un workshop. Workshop, yo le estoy hablando de seminar, es como una capacitación. Durante el año yo sé que por lo menos una han hecho, no me mientan, ok, because I know it's very important to, to do something new, right? Yo sé que es importante para hacer algo nuevo en cada empresa, lo piden. Entonces, think about that, ok. Entonces, en la primera tal vez la vamos a cambiar y no le vamos a decir last month, Vamos a decir, did you attend to a seminar? Ok, just seminar. Vamos a delete last month, porque last month, como les digo, no todos, ¿verdad? Fueron en last month. And so, yeah. Uh, do we have any questions? ¿Tenemos alguna duda o pregunta so far, everybody? You can write the answers next in your... Solo, no. mm -hmm. solo sería de eh, practicar. Yes, Mr. Eh, tal como está. Okay. Yes. Yes, solo pregunta, hacer las preguntas y pues porque todos van a tener diferentes ¿verdad? opciones y opiniones. So, okay. uh -huh. so it would be mostly practice, mostly practice for this. Ah, y otra cosa, quiero que agreguemos una preguntita. Vamos a crear una preguntita eh, in here. Yo le puedo decir cómo. Just let me erase this. Solo déjenme borrar esto porque I don't like it. You have to create your own questions. Like for example, my question it would be. Hmm, Did you, did you travel last year? Did you travel last year, Jorge Luis? Mm, no, I didn't. Exactly. Entonces, mire, a ustedes, en este caso yo le hice, did you travel last year, right? Pero ustedes pueden hacer otra, como, did you eat regados last month? <laughs> did you buy, okay? Did you watch TV, ok, did you, en así, ok, quiero, quiero que hagan una más ustedes, eh, yo, yo sé que tienen ideas súper buenas, así que van a intentar hacer una, ok, questions, questions doubt so far, if you guys, no, ok, so, let's go to practice, One second. vamos a practicar, vamos a, lo voy a poner en teams, lo voy a poner en, Parejas, just give me one second. Okay. Okay, so give me one second. I just want to see. No quiero, quiero ver si nadie me queda solo oyente. Okay. Okay, so for this activity, I'm going to give you five minutes, okay? Five minutes, please try to do it as fast as you can, traten de hacerlo tan rápido como puedan, pero practiquen. Y si termina, es, este es una, un consejo que les voy a dar. Cuando termine, please try to practice a little bit more. Tratemos de hacer, este, de hacer la práctica otro, o una vez más. Porque, y algunos los he escuchado que repiten otra vez la misma conversación y eso está perfecto. ¿Por qué? Porque practicamos speaking, ¿ok? Así que no se me queden calladitos, apaguen la cámara, apaguen el micrófono, no. Continuemos practicando, ¿ok? Porque remember, it's super important. Yes? Yes, everybody? Todos levanten su thumb up ahí, so I can, uh, like, be supportive with this, yes? No se me van a quedar calladitos y con la, yes. la cámara apagada okay. y el micrófono. <laughs> ¿Ok? No. Practice, practice, ¿ok? So, let's work, ¿ok? Vamos a practicar. Here we go. Ana, Verónica, do you have a question? Tell me. No, solo levante la mano por la afirmación. Ok, practice, excellent. Ok, let's join. Vaya, se pueden unir. Carlos Miguel, accept the invitation, please, mister. And also, Anna Marleni, please accept the invitation. No. <laughs> Vaya, usted copió la, la, la pantalla. Eh, no. Bueno, Vamos. este... Tengo, quiero ver la captura. A eso me refería. Ajá. 
¿Cuál es su número? Mm, 7879. Uh -huh. 7541. Lo que vamos a hacer es practicar nada más, ¿verdad? Leerlo. Sí, leer y contestar. Hello, I think I already. Michelle, no puede habilitar la compartir porque Nilton no quiere compartir pantalla. Yes, sister, I'm sorry, pero yo creo que ya lo había activado. I already activated it right now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry that no, I. Ah, okay, yeah. Me. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Hoy oh, sí. Thanks, you, teacher. Thanks. Vaya, ¿quién va a practicar primero? Vaya, okay. You attend. Attend what? ¿Tú a seminar? Seminar. Son. Sometimes. Did you? Uh, yes, I did. Did you network in the convention? Yes, I did. Uh, did you exchange business cards? No, I didn't. My, ahora volvamos a preguntar. Ahora va usted de nuevo. <laughs> okay. O démosle tres y tres. Did you attend? Del. Ah, bye. Did you attend to a seminar? Seminar. Okay. Yeah, yes, did you meet new people? Uh, yes, I did. Mm -hmm. On work. Sí. Did you walk to the work today? No. On para decir a teacher. Solo la. O. Tú. Tú. What do you want to say? ¿Qué tú quieres decir? Es que es. Queremos decir, caminaste a tu trabajo. Do you work to, do you walk to work? Do you walk uh -huh, to work? Caminaste uh -huh. al trabajo. Did you work to work? Did you work to work today? La que voy a Did you de drew did you try cars the last week? Did you try cars cars? Me dijo. Last week, la semana Last pasada. Week. Yes, I did. Ah, um, okay. Yes, I did. Este no. No sé si usted iría a formular alguna pregunta. En... Okay. Um, yes. Yes, I um, yes I did. Yes I did, perdón. <laughs> yes I did. Mm. Okay. 
Este, estaba, estaba respondiendo la de las películas, por cierto. Vaya, ok. <risa> Mister, can you do the question? I want to hear you speaking, please. Speak, 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 please. Please, please. <risa> ok, teacher. Le voy a preguntar esto. Did you enjoy uh, the seminary? Okay. Did you meet new people? You meet need new people. Hola. Es que creo que no le escuchó, Mr. Can you repeat? Repeat, please. <coughs> ah, okay, okay, sorry. Did you meet new people? ¿Cómo está que yo le estoy dando? ¿Dónde sería yes, she? Yes, she did. Did or didn't? Did, ah, did. sí, there. Did. Didn't yes. sería negativo. Yes, she did. Uh -huh. Uy. Just she did. Sí, así es verdad. Bueno. Hoy sí me está costando más el inglés. De verdad. A usted no. Sí, algo, solo que lo que estamos viendo es más complicado. No, es que quizás como últimamente me da sueño, hasta ahora ya me quedo dormido. Ajá, y como que ya. Sí, tengo que, tendría que buscar para ponerse la pregunta también. Sorry, Kich. What happened? De the... screens. Screen. The screens. The screenshot. The screenshot. The screenshot of the the questions. De las preguntas. Yes. Pero se las mandé en el grupo. Yes. Ajá, se las mandé uh, en el grupo. Ah, ok. Well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Don't worry. Yes. Let's go oh, back. So. Ok, vamos a regresar. Thank you. Very good. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Everybody's coming. Let's wait for a little bit. Vamos a esperar unos segunditos para que se unan todos. And yeah. Okay. Okay, let's wait a second, please, for the rest. Welcome, welcome, very good. Okay. Ready, teacher. Ready, Thanks. yes. Teacher, how do you say diploma in English? Diploma, it's the same. Uh, um, okay, uh -huh, thank it's you. diploma, it's diploma, yeah. Thank you. No problem, Miss. So that's okay. Okay, now, right now, and uh, we are going to continue um, with, before we continue with the questions, antes de continuar con nuestras preguntas, okay? I want you, we, uh, I'm going to do a uh, attendance section, okay? Voy a hacer sección de asistencia. Please say presente. Presente, sorry. Uh, Adriana Gabriela. 
Okay, wait. Creo que todavía están uniendo. Give me one second. I thought everybody was here. Creo que, que todos estamos por acá, but no. Oh, sí. Adriana Gabriela. No. Eh, Ana Marleni. Ana Marleni. Pero la vi hace un segundo. Oh, what happened? Se salió. Eh, Blanca Luz. Gracias, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Miguel. Presidente, teacher. Eh, eh, pero creo que sí. Ah, sí, es cierto. Carlos, Roberto. Yo, presidente. Sí. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Cristian, Alexander. Clelia Estela. Presente. Thank you. David Emanuel. Present teacher. Very good. Diana Noemi. Edwin Roberto. Jenny Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Luis. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Dimas. Julio Cesar. Present. Thank you. Karen Estefanía. Present. Thank you. Nilton Alexander. Present. Thank you. Rodrigo José. Present teacher. Thank you. Ruth Rebeca. Present teacher. Thank you. Serafín Constanza. Present teacher. Thank, thank you. María Yamilet. Carmen Guadalupe. Ana Verónica. Present. Thank you. Marlene Oneida. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan Ezequiel. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Very good, everybody. Now, um, as you know, we were doing the questions, right? Estamos haciendo las preguntas por ahí that appear in the manual, right? So what are you going to do? So everybody's going to give me one question and the answer that you have, okay? Eh, cada uno de ustedes me va a decir una pregunta de las que hicieron a sus compañeros más la respuesta que obtuvieron, okay? Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Carlos Miguel. Uh, so, let's start. I want to go first with Jenny. Jenny, tell me. Is Jenny? Blanca. Blanca. Okay, wait, Blanca. Ha. Tell me one question then, please. Do you, Blanca, do you party yesterday? <laughs> do you go to a party yesterday, maybe? Do you go to yesterday? Uh, no, uh, I didn't. Uh, okay. Very good. Thank you. That's okay. Just one question and one answer. Let's go with Claudia and Juan Ezequiel. Tell me one question, Miss Claudia. Um, um, did, you, did you think? The, sorry, one more time. Did, um, um, did you sing? You say sing. Sí, okay. Sí. What was the answer? ¿Qué le dijo Juan Ezequiel? Um, no sé qué algo así me dijo así. Hágale la pregunta entonces ahorita. One, two, three, go. Um, Juan Ezequiel. Uh, Juan Ezequiel. Um, did you sing? Uh -huh. No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Let's go now with. Clelia and Serafin. Tell me, Miss Clelia, tell me one question and the answer, please. Uh, did you study English yesterday? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, yes, he did. Okay, very good, Miss. Excellent. Let's go, mm -hmm. Carlos Argueta. Carlos Argueta, ¿con quién trabajaste? Porque no me sale, fíjate. Tell me. Con Ana Verónica. Ah, okay, con Ana Verónica. Okay, tell me the question, Carlos. From Ana Veronica. Did you eat pizza? Uh -huh. Ah, the answer? No, I didn't. Ah, very good. Thank you. Let's go next one. Tell me Jorge Luis, Nilton, and Rodrigo. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's start with Jorge Luis. Tell me one question. Did you, did you visit uh, the beach this year? Ah, okay. 
And the answer que respuesta le dieron, Mr. Because you have two. Tenías two. Newton me dijo, yes, I did. Y, uh -huh. y, 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 y no, no, todos. <laughs> yes, yes, I did. They, yes, they did then. They did. did. <laughs> okay, they did. Excellent. Let's go now. Newton, tell me one question and the answer that you had. Nilton, I hear ah, you. Okay, this you did you travel last holiday? Uh huh. And uh, Jorge, yes, I didn't. Um, uh, Rodrigo? Rodrigo, yes, I didn't. I did. Okay. I did. <laughs> Very good. Let's see. Next one. Who is missing? Karen and Rebecca. Karen, tell me the question, please, and the answer that you had. No te escucho, Karen. Did you, you eat lunch? Uh -huh. uh, yes, I did. Uh -huh. Very uh, good. Mm -hmm. uh, Rebecca, yes, I did. Yes, very good, Miss. Thank you. Quiero ver qué más me falta. Julio, tell me with Miss Madeline, right? Yes. Uh -huh, did tell me. Did you walk to work today? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. Oh, very good. Let's see. And I think everybody, creo que sí, todos. Sí. Todos han participado. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for doing an amazing job. Okay, now let's go with the last practice for today's uh, class. Okay, vamos con la última práctica de el día de ahora. And basically, I have this. Okay, this is a worksheet. Tengo esta hoja de trabajo. And as you can see here, it's a simple past, regular and irregular, just no questions. And here we have a little bit of explanation. Then we have the questions and the answers. So what it could be the first answer, I mean, the first question everybody here. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo podría ser el orden? Everybody, help me. Please. It, the, it. Mm -hmm. it. Uh -huh. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. Excellent. Very good. Y miren porque sabemos que morning va al final, porque tenemos el question mark. Y la respuesta sería como. Miren, ahí tenemos varias opciones. Voy a acercarlo un poco más para que veamos las opciones. Ok. Tenemos yes, they did. Yes, it did. No, yes, it did. Yes, 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 it did. Yes, it did. Awesome. Very good. Let's go to number two. What is the question? Did the did did the plane? Did uh huh. Arrive at arrive at seven thirty a.m. Thirty a.m. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What could be the answer? No, I didn't. no, it no, didn't. I didn't. No, it didn't. Exactly. It didn't. Very good. Because what it's a, object. Exactly. The <laughs> object and then it will be it. And also in the other one, it says it did. So it's a positive answer, right? And in this one, it's a negative answer. Very good. Let's see this one. Goodbye, Jenny. Say to her friend, did. What it will be the, um, the question? Do you, Jenny? Did Jenny uh -huh. say? Hey. hey. Goodbye to her girl. DJ. Friends. Say goodbye, goodbye to, to her friend. friend. Very good. And the answer? How could be the answer? Yes. Yes, she did. She did. Yes, she did. Excellent. Yes, she did. Mm hmm. Very good. And in this one? Did. She the children, the children, the children study, study for, for the test. Study mm -hmm. for, for the test. test. And the answer? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Yes, yes they did. Yes, they Ex did. Exactly. Number five. Mm -hmm. Here. What did a good did we, we, did we take the green. They, 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 they,
At seven o'clock. Very good. And the answer? Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. We typicos porque dice we, verdad? So vamos a utilizar we. Very good. Let's see number six. Did Mr. Smith did Mr. Smith have a good time? A good time at the party. Excellent. The party. Uh huh. And the answer? Yes, he did. He did. He did. Very good. Number seven. Did you visit? Did? Did you, you visit, visit, last visit your grandma? Your grandma last that weekend. weekend. Awesome. And the answer? No, no you did. did. No, you didn't. Excellent. And number eight here. Did I the as it started? Did John's cut eat all its food? All its food. And the answer could be? Yes, it did. Yes, very good. Number nine. Did I I win? Did I win? Yeah, the, the championship, championship two years. Two years. Did uh, I win, win uh -huh, the, the championship, championship two years ago? And the answer? Mira, un ratón acaba de pasar ahí. No. The mouth rang in the room. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, <laughs> they both run in the room. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> did? And the, <laughs> the question will be, did? Did the family, mm -hmm. the family enjoy, enjoy the, movie. the movie? Enjoy the movie. And the answer would be? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Excellent. Let's see. How was the answers? Congratulations. Yay. Congratulations. <laughs> you had a 10 out of 10. Wow. That's super good. Everybody. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> and so that was for the questions. Mm -hmm. Something very important that I want to say. Algo muy importante que les eh, quiero recalcar. Es que... Eh, Recuerden que practicar, yo sé que ustedes podrán decir, ay, la misma no me escucha entre todos. Yo escucho quiénes son los que participan y aparte a mí me aparece ahí quiénes están hablando, ¿ok? Recuerden que es importante que lo hagan, ¿ok? So you can develop English skills para que puedan desarrollar la, pues, el, lo que estamos aprendiendo, vea que es inglés, ¿ok? Y... Esto es una cosa. También, este, yo entiendo que algunos están como que, ah, ya tengo sueño, ya es hora, vea. I feel you, uh, me too, because I, I feel like no, almost. No. no. <ríe> Dice el mister, no, todavía no. Yo les entiendo. ¿Ah? I'm sorry, mister. Como usted dice, no se siente en las dos horas. Ah, I think you. No va al siguiente módulo, ¿verdad? <ríe> I Vamos don't know yet. I think so. I think so. Creo que sí. Que, no. que levante la mano el que la quiere. <laughs> sí, no, I don't know. Maybe. No, eh, creo, bueno, no sé, no estoy segura eh, si, si les voy a, a, a impartir el siguiente módulo, pero por el momento aquí estamos, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero sí, quiero pedirles a todo, ¿verdad? Que yo sé que esto de yo sé que es tarde, ok, I know that, I feel you, the tiring, but we can do a little bit of effort, ok, podemos hacer un poquito de esfuerzo, porque, miren, recuerden que el maestro, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a hacer un pequeño, una pequeña, un pequeño esfuerzo, 
porque recuerden que después de esto, usted pues va a poder hablar con un montón de personas, ya English, ok, va a poder entender, ok, va a poder, no sé, viajar, alguna beca, no sé si ustedes han pensado en eso, que es lo, o que es lo next after English, right, después de inglés siempre hay algo, algo después, ¿verdad? Porque recuerden que también el English te abre muchas puertas, como dicen. <ríe> Entonces, y es cierto, ¿ok? Así que, let's try it. Vamos a intentarlo, ¿ok? Yes, Mr. Rodrigo, me iba a decir algo. Eh, no, no, solamente con lo que estaba diciendo, teacher. Tiene razón porque, uh -huh. por lo menos yo digo, si normalmente uno pasa en la noche tres o cuatro horas viendo el Instagram o TikTok, ¿Por qué no va a pasar dos horas aprendiendo lo que le va a servir a uno? Sí, yes, exactly. Sacrificio, digo yo. Exactly, a little bit of sacrifice, ¿ok? Eh, en las clases, como ustedes pueden ver, yo trato, porque yo sé que es tarde y están desde la comodidad de su casa, a mí me dan ganas de acostarme, digamos, si tengo apagada la cámara, me dan ganas de dormirme, ¿verdad? pero hagamos el intento. Yo por eso es que les digo a cada rato, enciendan la cámara, ¿ok? Porque yo los quiero estar viendo que ustedes no están así. <ríe> acostadito, ¿verdad? Yo les quiero ver que están up, ¿ok? Y en las actividades, si se fijan, yo por eso trato de preguntarles a todos, ¿ok? Para ver que están ahí, up, up, pero a veces, yo ya les comentaba anteriormente, pues a veces se me escapa entre ahí, entre todos, se me escapan, pero ustedes traten de levantar la mano ahí, en la manito que tienen por ahí, levántenla, ¿ok? Y díganme, Miss, aguanto participe, ¿ok? Porque este es importante. Ah, aparte de que recuerden que estamos con INSAFOR, INSAFOR al final de todo esto se les va a dar un diploma certificado, vea que ustedes han hecho este tiempo, porque recuerden que son 40 horas las que están haciendo, ¿qué quiere decir eso? Tienen un diploma ahí ganado, ok, entonces eso es eh, de peso para sus currículums, ok, así que aprovechémoslo, vea, no dejemos pasar la oportunidad, porque muchas personas se salen y pues dicen, ay no, es que ya no quiero aprovechemos esa oportunidad que entonces que están teniendo en ese momento y como les digo yo trato de que todos participen para que no se ay se me que me están ay no tengo sueño tengo o, o que me distraen yo escuché a alguien la vez pasada ahí en la casa vea también estaba pronunciando qué bien me alegró eso escuchar a alguien más este pues pronunciar o tal vez a los chicos que cuando los chicos escuchan vea también andan pronunciando alguna palabrita en los niños está bien no hay problema pero solo es que les pido que tengamos un poquito de cómo sería de compromiso ok un poquito de compromiso para así podamos aprender todo porque hasta yo aprendo de ustedes porque la vez pasada pues hay palabras que pues yo no sé de, de empresas por ejemplo podríamos decir o de compañías y con ustedes las he aprendido. Entonces, este, así que así vamos a ir aprendiendo. Yo aprendo de ustedes y ustedes aprenden de mí. Ok, yo comparto, vea. Entonces, sí, ese pequeño compromiso quiero de todos, ok, y echarle ganas, ok, ánimos that we can do this, ok, ustedes pueden hacerlo, y si yo pude aquí aprender en El Salvador English, you can do it too, ok, porque yo no lo aprendí en Estados Unidos, lo aprendí aquí en El Salvador, ok, so you can do it too, you can speak like me, ok, ustedes pueden hablar así como pues, yo lo hago, ok, porque mmm, yo pues no, no, o sea, sí he viajado a Estados Unidos, pero no he ido a aprenderla ya, sino que acá, ok, and so you can do it too. Now, Uh, questions so far? And remember something very, very important, algo muy, muy importante, este, la plataforma. Please do it, okay? Porque no la, algunos no la han hecho. So try to do it, okay? Eh, porque es importante. Y la cámara, tratemos de que solo tal vez la paguemos en algunos momentos, porque yo sé que algunos, ayer, por ejemplo, pues yo tenía problemas de internet. So sorry for that. Pero, eh, por ejemplo, veo que a mi Rebeca, también no me acuerdo quién más es que viaja y la enciende, no hay problema, ¿ok? Porque nosotros entendemos que se están moviendo de un lado a otro, pero me están escuchando, por lo menos yo veo que los, me están escuchando y que están ahí, ¿ok? No tengan pena, como les digo, yo sé que están en la comodidad de sus casas, no se preocupen. We understand, Nosot yo, eh, nosotros entendemos, ustedes entienden, so don't worry, ¿ok? And right now we are going to do the platform, okay? Ahorita vamos a irnos a la plataforma and give me one second, it's charging. Vamos a irnos a la section number two, a la sección número dos de nuestra uh, plataforma y vamos a la tarea number eight, everybody, okay? So here, as you can see, we have the simple passport. 
practice, okay? So, let's see. I want some of you to help me to practice. Quiero que me ayuden con las respuestas aquí en la, en el, la plataforma. Oh, I have the first practice, Miss Blanca. Help me with number one, please. Uh, stop. Okay, very good, Miss. Stopped. Exactly. Number two. Next volunteer to help me. A, a or B? B. Yes, very good. Number three. Volunteer to help me with number three. Try. 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 Number four. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Excellent. Number five. No, they no, didn't. They didn't. Exactly. Let's see how many points. Yay, very good. 20 points. Awesome. Awesome, everybody. So there you have the answers. Okay. Now it's your turn, right? You have to do it in your platform with homework number eight. Okay. Y como les dije, este tema, el del pasado, el de Simple Past, lo van a volver a estudiar un poco más a fondo porque ahí faltan varios temitas ahí con el Simple Past en el siguiente módulo. Pero ahorita pues aparece esto de las preguntas, por eso pues yo les expliqué así como encimita, digamos. Mañana vamos a continuar con eso. Así que please try to be here, por favor estén, estén acá el día de mañana. Eh, thank you everybody for coming to today's class. Gracias a todos porque han venido el día de ahora y espero continuemos así. No sé si tienen algún comentario, opinión, pregunta. Right now is the time. Questions or no questions? No questions. No, no questions. Question. Everything no clear? No Everything question. clear as water or as water of, of your chata? Water clear or water over water chata? Or water chata. <laughs> water. <laughs> water. <laughs> water. <laughs> no, but that's wrong. <laughs> okay. So. Or chata clarita. De coco. Coco no or café. <laughs> no tan frita. <laughs> okay. Coco. No, if you don't have any more questions, we are going to stop here. Si no tienen más preguntas, pues nos vamos a quedar acá. En un segundo les mando la lista porque estaba buscando, no encuentro ninguna con, que tenga las dos, o sea, tenga el, el, el regulares y irregulares, entonces se las voy a mandar separadas. Eh, so you can read and learn, ok? Quiero que se las se aprendan por lo menos unos 5 o 10 para el día de mañana. Please, please, ok? Se los voy a mandar en un segundo en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿ok? okay. Thank you everybody okay. for coming. Have a good night. Que tengan una buena noche. I'll see good you tomorrow. Night. Los veo mañana. Bye bye everybody. Bye everybody. Bye bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Take care. Bye. Oh, I found someone. Bye bye.